And well, geoengineering sounds like science fiction, but this is real. It's funded and it is starting in Britain. In an age of climate panic and extreme weather, the UK is preparing to tinker with the most powerful force in our solar system, the sun itself. Take a look. The climate clock is ticking. Wildfires rage. Sea levels rise. And heat waves are becoming relentless. As the carbon emissions keep climbing, treaties are stalling, while fossil fuel interests remain stubbornly entrenched. With the world on the brink, some scientists and policymakers are considering an unsettling solution. What if we could cool the earth without cutting emissions? The UK government is preparing to fund up to 66 million in research aimed at dimming the sun. Yes, dimming our sun to reduce global temperatures. The science involves reflecting a portion of sunlight back into space, mimicking the cooling effects of volcanic eruptions. The approach known as solar radiation management could offer a temporary climate reprieve, but it also opens the door to immense uncertainty. It may sound cool, but it has many pitfalls. This strategy could theoretically offset global warming. It's a plan B, a planetary sunshade, but critics warn it's also a Pandora's box. Shift too much sunlight and you could derail monsoons disrupt agriculture or spark new geopolitical flashpoints and who decides how much sun the world gets which countries win which lose bureau report we on world is one